德国的 Michel d e t Misha from Dead Pie 来到了我们的活动现场。那接下来呢，他将现场来给我们分享一下香城派在海外社区的故事。那接下来有请我们全场所有的朋友来掌声，有请 Misha Dead Pie。Hello, I'm Misha from Germany. Thank you very much for having me here. I will、uh, present you or give you a slight insight into Dead Pie. This is a Debian-based,、um, yeah. Uh, dis Linux distribution that tries to be on the one hand very minimal and light, and on the other hand,、uh, it allows to automatically and、uh, easily and fast install complex server systems. A little insight into the history: DietPi was founded 2014 by Daniel Knight. He is actually from UK, from、uh, England.、Uh, originally, it supported only the Raspberry Pi SPCs, but it tracked,、uh, yeah, it, it caught quite some attraction. And quickly, other SPC brands were added. Were also supported and x86、uh, PCs, etc.、Um, I personally joined、uh, 2017 to the project as a volunteer and yeah, expanded a bit the code, added some new stuff that I needed for my personal use case. And uh, since uh, Daniel started to have some health problems, I took over the project in 2019 to bring it into the future. And uh, luckily, uh, in the same year, two other guys from Germany joined, and one year later, we had someone from Denmark who was also or is still very valuable to the project. And we have、uh, yeah, a number of other volunteers、um, who are working on side projects or sub projects of DietPi. And the reason I'm here is a collaboration、uh, with Xulong that started last year.、Um, have a little insight into the concept of DietPi. As I said, we use Debian as base OS, and we use the official Debian APT repository, which means you have access to the over seventy thousand APT packages、uh, you can install. And another benefit of using Debian is that you can search online for、uh, installing, setting up things on Debian, and、uh, you will find plenty of results and help、uh, with this. And all of this will work on DietPi as well. But what we do is we reduce the base OS to a very minimal OS. So we, the package size that our images are shipped with is very small. The size of the image file is very small. It uses、um, few, very few RAM or very few memory only. CPU utilization is very low, and also the disk input output,、uh, so disk writes, are reduced to a minimum of the base OS. But on the other hand, we ship these images with a set of scripts and services that start at the first boot, and these allow to automatically install、um, quite complex, by times quite complex, server systems with everything inside. So the web server, the database server, the caching server, if needed,、uh, the backend that handles all of this. And、uh, all of this is installed and set up for you automatically.、Um, Without you needing to access the console and、uh, typing in commands by yourself, and this is used,、uh, yeah, by by a set of bash, bash shells, or bash scripts. What you can basically do is、uh, you download our image, you flash it to an SD card,、uh, you edit a small text file, edit a few lines inside, put it into your into your Orange Pi, for example, boot it up. And five minutes later, you have access to the web interfaces and the APIs and everything that you wanted to install on this device. And this is all done automatically if you wish to. If you don't wish to, you can also use some console interface that where you can select the software you need to install or the configuration you need to do on the device. Uh, yeah, a little overview over the team.、Uh, yeah, well, that's me. <laughs>、um, Another one, the other guy from Germany is Michael Nitsch.、Um, he is especially responsible for、um, end-user support on our forums and on GitHub. Helps the people when they have problems or questions. We have、uh, Stefan Schulze, also from Germany, who is doing especially work on the documentation side and is also doing marketing, which means he is contacting online magazines so that they、um, blog and write about new DiPy releases and changes on our、uh, distribution. And we have、uh, Petru from Denmark,、uh, who has especially、um, some knowledge about web、uh, websites and especially about、uh, search engine optimization. And this helped quite a lot since I had no idea about this topic to make our website、uh, visible in、uh, yeah in the search engines. 
and then we have some uh, side projects, um, uh, people working. I don't know his real name, Ravenclaw900 is his GitHub account at least, and he is uh, the only one of us who is able to write Rust code, the Rust coding language, and with this he is uh, maintaining a very slick, sm slim web interface for DietPy, so you can also access it with the browser optionally, and do not need to, to use the console if you wish so. Um, about the community, um, our user base is growing. This is half a year. Uh, in this time, uh, we grew up to now over 140,000 active systems. It is quite small, but we are growing. Maybe a niche product, but we are growing. Um, especially interesting, uh, Diet Pass is especially interesting for inexperienced users. So users who do not know how to deal with Linux, how to type in commands into the console and all of this. And um, for them, DietPy is interesting because it's easy to use. You do not need to know how to use the console. You do not, do not need to um, dig in the web or in the, in the internet for, for guides and how tos how to do things because you have a slim interface that allows you to do this automatically. And on the other hand, it is also interesting for more experienced Linux users, for those who simply want to save time. So who do not want to invest the time to set up different parts of a complex server system, but just want to have this done in five minutes without them paying attention. And a quick overview over the most frequent used cases. So the one single software that is most installed on DietPy um, in about 50% of all DietPy systems is PyHole. Uh, maybe some of you may know it. This is it actually an ad blocker, but a DNS based ad blocker, but it has many more features. It's very configurable, and you can basically use this to replace your router software um, as DNS server, DHCP server. You can uh, use it as adult content blocker, um, monitoring your home or your business, your, your um, uh, office network, etc. And the largest block of uh, software titles, which is installed on about 50% of all DietPy systems, is in the cloud, backup, and media streaming area. So when people want to make their data or their, their uh, media content available remotely uh, to other people, share it to other people. And one of the more famous um, uh, examples is Nextcloud, which is uh, developed in Germany and is a, is a collaboration and data sharing platform. Um, yeah, and some of you may know Kodi or Jellyfin as um, media streaming servers. And another area is the home automation systems, uh, where Home Assistant is an example, uh, so that you can automate some electronic devices at home or in office or wherever. And while we do not focus on desktop environments and graphical user interface software, uh, we do offer it as well, and in on about 20% of all DiPi systems are also desktop environments installed. Uh, yeah, and the reason I'm here, DiPi and Orange Pi, uh, we had quite an increasing number of um, users who wanted to have DiPi on, on Orange Pies, running DiPi on Orange Pies. And it was at first difficult for us to implement this because we, nobody of us uh, was owning an Orange Pi board. And of course, to add support properly, you need to test and develop on those boards. And we have very little funds to actually buy boards. Uh, so that was a problem. But people had very, quite some interest. Uh, we heard already that those boards are very affordable compared to competitors, have a good hardware qualities, uh, they range from very small devices like the Raspberry Pi Zero 3 up to very powerful devices like the Orange Pi 5. And uh, so in uh, last year, 2023, um, we were contacted by Xunglong and offered to uh, get support and get, uh, get samples of the newly released Orange Pi single board computers. And that helped quite a lot. We added support for, um, yeah, for the newer Orange Pi releases. And now Diet Pi can run on the Orange Pi 03, on the Orange Pi 3B, the Orange Pi 5, and the Orange Pi 5 Plus. And we, of course, aim to add support for more and also some older Orange Pi boards in the future. And just one more sentence to the end. What was missing in the slides uh, was um, the numbers of how many Diet Pi systems are actually running on Orange Pi hardware. And I was quite surprised to see this yesterday, that the Orange Pi 03, for example, became 
after the Raspberry Pis, which are of course on top, but became afterwards the second most used uh, single board computer with a running and dial Pi system on it. So it was, and we are just supporting it for a few months. So in a short time, the numbers of users using an Orange Pi 03 was raising very fast. And that is of course a good sign for us. Okay, thank you very much.